Maundy Thursday, the Thursday before Easter, is an important day in the week known by Christians as Holy Week. The events of Maundy Thursday lead up to and are remembered in relation to the death of Jesus on Good Friday and his resurrection on Easter Sunday. Jesus and his friends, his disciples, had come to Jerusalem to celebrate Pesach, Passover, the largest Jewish annual festival. On Maundy Thursday, Christians remember the last meal that Jesus shared with his friends as they celebrated Passover together in an upper room and the example Jesus set his disciples by washing their feet. It is also a time when Christians remember the betrayal of Jesus by Judas, Peter's denial of knowing Jesus and Jesus' agony as he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane before the soldiers came to arrest him. It was the custom to have one's feet washed clean of the dust and dirt of the road and instead of a servant doing this, Jesus surprised his disciples by performing this humble service for them before they ate their Passover meal. Jesus performed this action of service and humility in order to set them an example. He knew what was going to happen and that he would not be with them for much longer. In normal times, this act is often recreated at Maundy Thursday services, with the priest or minister symbolically washing the feet of representative members of the congregation. After this, Jesus also gave a new commandment to his friends that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. This is where Maundy Thursday gets its name, as the Latin word for commandment is mandatum, and Maundy is a derivation of this. At the meal, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. He blessed the bread and shared it with his friends, saying, Take, eat, this is my body. Then Jesus took some wine and gave thanks to God for it. He blessed the wine and shared it with his friends, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus associated the bread and wine with his own body and blood and his impending death. In Luke's Gospel, it is written that Jesus also said to them that whenever they did this, they should remember him. In response to these words, Christians still remember Jesus' death and resurrection by sharing bread and wine. This is called a Eucharist or communion service. In the evening, Jesus went into the garden to pray. He knew what was going to happen to him and he was feeling intense sadness and anguish. It is recorded in Matthew's Gospel that Jesus said, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not what I want, but what you want, and that he made this prayer three times. Jesus prayed for a long time and he accepted what God the Father wanted him to do. After he had finished praying, as he knew would happen, some soldiers came and arrested him. The consequences of this arrest are the events Christians commemorate on Good Friday.